Welcome to the next episode of Deacons with D. I am Deepa Osterman, your host tonight, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Tonight, we are trying the old time end of summer beach wine. Rosé! I'm going to try with you four rosés. Three of them are from southern France. Provence, the capital of the rosé wine, and one of them is partially from Argentina and partially from New York's Long Island. So, when you think about rosé, you think about a summer wine. I typically never drink it in winter. I typically drink it during summer or the end of summer. Typically, it's crisp. It's bright, it has some melon, water lemon type of uh, fruit, and grapefruit, strawberry, fresh, all those things that you enjoy specifically at a hot summer night. The grape behind a rosé wine can be anything, any red wine. However, I mentioned the capital of rosé is Provence, the southern fringe wine region. They do the Grenache grape there, but I also have a contestant here that has some Cabernet, Shiraz, and even Marbeck in it. Pinot Noir is another very typical grape. So, talking about these four wines, the very first one, a legendary Miraval Provence wine. And why is it so legendary? Because this is the Brad Pitt Angelina Jolie wine. They bought the vineyard in 2009. They got married there in 2014. And it's a beautiful, massive estate. And they produce, indeed, one of the best rosés in southern France. So let me open this baby up. A very light rosé, see-through, very light. That's the other advantage of drinking rosé wine. Typically they come at 12, 12 and a half, 13, 30 and a half percent alcohol, rather light. So this one is see-through light. A little bit of watermelon, a little bit of lemon zest, very, very pleasant in the background, not overwhelming. A little bit unbalanced on the palate, a little bit of a bitter aftertaste and relatively short finish. I'm not really too pleased about it. I liked the bottle, I liked the initial color, I liked the aromas, but on the palate, it uh, it fails me. And uh, in the uh, finish, it's not really that elegant. Sorry about that. Let's go contestant number two. Contestant number two is the Pasquere Desvinet, Côte de Provence, a classic producer of Provencal Rosés. They have more in the offering, but uh, they are certainly a classic. And uh, the color of this wine, it's even better than the Mirabelle. It's a little darker, still very, very light and see-through. I like it a lot. Low alcohol content, not many lines. Strawberry in the nose. Watermelon, very pleasant, much in the background, not overbearing, very pleased with the aromas. Let's give it a whirl.
Several fruits on the palate, certainly watermelon, certainly strawberry, balanced, bright fruit, crisp. I like it a lot. The finish is long, elegant, much better than the Mirabelle. I like this wine quite a bit. I think um, while I probably have to give the Mirabelle a 3, 3.5 at best, I'm leaning uh, towards a 4, 4.5, maybe even a 4.5. It is that good. This is a classic wine. Vivino gives it um, 2019 ratings not out yet. The average of the previous year's ratings was about 3.5. The bottle is $25. Mirabelle, $20 and 3.9. So I am disagreeing here with Vivino. I think this is significantly better but also the 2019 Vivino ratings have not been added up yet. Third contestant, another classic here of the Provence producers, a glass cock, very rare, with a rubber ring to tighten the bottle. <laughs> cock -al. So this one here is the Baron, no, Baton Gestier. Baton Gestier, a classic producer, and a beautiful Cote de Provence. This bottle is more like a drop shape. Color is light and beautiful, a little bit more solid than the Mirabelle, but uh, I like the bottle, I like the color. Let's give this wine a whirl. Crisp, clear, refreshing, strawberry, watermelon, apple, great on the palate, long finish, beautiful finish. I like this wine a lot too. These two are excellent wines. I am in the 4 to 4.5 uh, area for this wine as well. Fourth contestant, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Rofa Finca Rofa Rosé. This wine is from the famous Rofa Vineyard on Long Island, but they're importing the Rosé wine from Argentina. And so it's an Argentinian US Long Island product. Beautiful label on the bottle, beautiful shape of the bottle. A very popular wine also available far outside of New York. Okay, here we go. Beautiful color again, just like the last two Southern French Provence vines. A little bit better color than the Miraval. Sniffy sniff. The aromas are not as beautiful, fresh, summary as the southern Provence aromas. A little bit more stale, a little bit of a foul apple in there. All right, let's give it a whirl. Elegant. On the palate, quite an elegant wine. More watermelony, less strawberry. I like the two uh, Provence Southern French much better, but it's not a bad wine by any stretch of the imagination. I like it. So what that does, ladies and gentlemen, I'm putting them in my order. I like this one the best, this one second. The Rofa third, and unfortunately, I'm sorry, Brad Pitt, the uh, Mirabelle least. That's my order, ladies and gentlemen.